Okay, so let's continue. Previously we made Tailwind and Svelte Kit and uh, Daisy UI application. But as you can see, it's well, it does nothing. It just have a header and few pages. Let's make it well more beautiful. First of all, um, yeah, let me make it smaller. First of all, uh, let's figure out of some page background probably. So this is the background of our header, and uh, we also have the body background. It sits here in the up and we can add this body another class. So let's see. Yeah, that's definitely not what I expect. Probably the body takes only the space it takes. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is fine. I think might be we need to move it from body to HTML. Okay, what about that? No, no change. Huh. Yep. Does it have 50? No, it's not what I need. Okay, so let's see. Body takes only like 100 something pixels, but we want it to take full height. So let's use Tailwind to do so. So we have H screen, H full. Well, I don't remember. Let's check Tailwind docs. So height, height. Sorry, my pronunciation. I'm not a native speaker, so I'll I'll improve my English while doing this series. Okay, so what do we have? We have a lot of predefined sizes, but we need one that says uh, yeah screen. I think it was here. I mean, like I typed it, but it didn't auto complete. Okay, let's look. Okay, now it's better. So it now takes the whole screen. Yep, wonderful. Um, so on macOS and iPhone, I'm now for sure, maybe Android do that too now. If you scroll a little bit, as you can see, other color of the HTML appears. I think it's, yeah, it's HTML. We'll solve it later. I'm not very good at CSS, but with Daisy UI and Tailwind, I can make it a little bit uh, better than just raw HTML. Okay, so we need some container for the body to sit in the center of the screen because if the display is pretty big, it stretches from left to right and it's not very nice. So there is a container class in uh, Tailwind and let's use that. So we can put it inside the navbar itself. Let's see. Oh no, it doesn't stretch. I mean, it stretches. It doesn't do what I want. Huh. One more thing that I want to do meanwhile is to configure my prettier in my IDE. So to do that, I just search in preference for prettier. I add checkboxes for reformat code action and on save. I add swelled here, HTML, CSS, what else I need, JSON. Yeah, that should do the trick. Now, when I do save, it reformats it. Okay, cool, but I don't like the tab style. Let's go to prettier config and uh, change it. So use tabs, no. 
single quote yes okay this is fine trailing comma i think all i want print with 100 okay let it leave like this okay looks good uh let's resave no still spaces oh, i mean spill still tabs oh and also this code is converted yeah this is definitely not very good i think some integration in my id the prettier and swelled doesn't work good okay anyway How do we fix it? So let's go to prettier docs and find configuration there. Doc, doc, docs. Options. Okay, this is fine. Tab. Ah, okay. Probably tab width is what we need to set to two. Oh, it automatically reformatted itself. Wonderful. Okay, we solved this. This is nice. Let's close Tailwind. Okay, so what about the container? It still stretches and um, yeah, well, we need Tailwind again container it should set max width um, depending on the screen resolution to be smaller than that mm -hmm. okay this MX auto will center it mm -hmm. Horizontal padding, we'll do it later. Okay, we need center, yes. Okay, let's set the centering. Okay, let's um, look at it. And let me move it to the bottom. Okay, so this is the navbar, it takes full width, and this is a container. Oh, it is, yeah, 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 okay, it works, it actually worked. Just my screen uh, size was, was small. So if I increase zoom or decrease zoom, whatever it's called, it sticks to the center. Wonderful. Okay, we need to do same thing, but with the, our body of the page. So we'll do the trick by wrapping the slot with div. Okay, so I, I shouldn't call after format with my ID. I should just click save. This way the script section works fine. Okay, nice. So this is now centered and keep being centered. Wonderful. Okay, what's next we do? So we need to implement some sign in and sign up. But before that, let's make some simple interface for saving URLs. Okay, so I think we need some component. For the beginning, let's uh, add component right in the source folder, but later on we will move it. So we'll call it, um, so it's URL, we said URL, it's this link. Let's call it the, the entity we're going to work on to be link. So link create swelt. Okay, I want always my files to be added to git automatically. By the way, I uh, published the repo for this project here to my GitHub. You can 
fetch the code, you can run it on your local anytime. And I will keep updating it as I record this series. Okay, cool. So we have this component. I want to use it on the home page. So we don't need hello world anymore. We don't need sign in and sign up links. They are in the uh, nav bar. Instead of them, uh, let's uh, import our component. So we'll use script section and uh, language TypeScript and we will import. Uh, no, no, we're not using view here. So we'll import link create from um, I think it should go up and up and yeah, here it is, link create. Okay, but it is empty now. Let's fill it with something. So first, I think we need to go to Daisy UI and find form component. Table, tabs, maybe field, file input. Okay, it's closer, text input. Okay, this is a nice stuff. So we need just the basic. What's your name? Out label, out label, out label. Well, we don't need that many out labels, but let's see how it works. So we add um, form control. Let's remove extra labels. So this to I in the bottom and this one is on the right what's your name so we say it's a uh, URL for your link okay should we use labels at all well I guys uh, want your opinion about that in the comment section but meanwhile, I'll just use placeholders. So this is URL. Okay. Uh, what else we need? So we are going to use tags. We are going to use folders. Um, we are going to use Boolean value for is it a favorite link? We need some uh, select for priority. So I want to keep URLs sorted by priority from like high priority to lower priority. So something that I want to read for fun, I can read later, but something that I need for my work right now, I want to read it as soon as possible. Okay, so we need select. Select for priorities. Let's go back, let's find select. Select where you are, where you are, bro. Here you are. Okay, this is basic select. I think basic should work. I don't want any super pooper fancy stuff here. It should work on all platforms, mobile. And sometimes it is tricky to make it work on something like iOS Safari. Okay, we definitely need to put it inside its own form control, I think. Form control. Okay. We need to have some gaps between them. And for that, I want div with class flex. I love using Flexbox. It's also possible to use Grid CSS, but uh, I'm always confused with its, you know, syntax. Okay, flex. Then it's uh, flex row and get free. 
and um, all the children of this div should have gap. Oh, it's not row, sorry, it's column. Okay, we got the gap. There still as a column. Uh, ha, ha, ha. I think we need some label for the whole form. Like, what the hell is it about? Okay, let's add some h1 for now. Like, add uh, your link. Link. Yeah, we need some styling for this thing. And I think we need some margin from the header. So let, let's, uh, not header, I call it header or navbar. Please don't be confused. So it's margin bottom, let's say eight. How does it look like? Okay, not bad. Okay, and what about texts? So we have components. Uh, what about just texts? Mm -hmm. Typography. Well, this is additional plugin for Tailwind. It's a native plugin developed by the people who work there. Uh, but yeah, I think we just can just mock this. Okay, so this is actually a good place for using something like ChatGPT. So let's say, hey, I have a form, the uh, HTML form that uses Tailwind CSS and I want it to have on oh, Daisy UI. I know if it's aware of Daisy UI, but we'll see in a second. I want it to have a title. Can you give me a class for that? No classes. The title. Nah, I think I shouldn't care that much about how correct is the English. I think ChatGPT will understand. Okay. Nice, so it gave us example of the title. It is bold, it is big, and it has some vertical margin. Let's try it out. So it should be oh yeah, inside here, class, add your link. Okay, looks not that bad. Well, we have URL, we need to make select, say, um, priority. And options are high, medium, and low. Okay, this works. What else do we need? I think that might be good enough for, for the beginning. Um, yeah, we can add a checkbox for the is favorite state. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Shouldn't be long. Checkbox. I love the documentation of Daisy UI. It's very slick, very nice to use. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's just use this basic one with the label. Just the label will go after the checkbox and it should say is favorite. Hmm. Well, I think it should, should, should have some maximum size. And um, why does it go 
there in the end of the line and not stick to the left mm -hmm. so let's look this label class <coughs> sorry it has display flex and all the other classes from flex that make this justify content space between which is like probably useful in other cases but in our case we don't need that uh can we change it yeah i think we can so justify start yeah it worked okay and since it's flex uh, we can just add a gap gap free yep it works wonderful okay we should finish with a button i think we can even move a button on the same line as is favorite i don't know if we should but we can okay so for this i suggest we try to use github copilot more um, so we can add a comment it can be javascript comment or css comment it understands both and we can say like form submit button with tailed in well i guess it should understand it from the context that it's well it's tailed in these classes are from both uh, daisy ui and bootstrap <laughs> i'm guessing which one did it did it get well anyway so let's limit its swift to fit the form okay and we got pretty nice form this is fine for now i guess we also need to well we need to make it live first to send data to the backend but we don't backend we don't have a backend yet okay uh, we need also to display a list of links so hmm for for the beginning i think we can make just really simple single page where this form with adding your link is on the left and on the right we will display all the links that are on the back end and later on once our application become more and more complicated we will well move it to different places refactor the form make it look different etc but for now for simplicity and clarity let's display a list of links on the right okay so that was link creates wild component let's copy that and let's say link list we'll also probably rename them later so in the list i want uh, to display a list of links so let's say display a list of links um url title priority is favorite using daisy ui and failing well this is not react <laughs> script length yes i think we need to have an empty script here and here we need to give it an idea of uh, what it should be so we start with div and inside let's move this inside let's see if it understands and give us something use custom component to display the list okay yes well 
you're not going to give us any, any meaningful HTML, do you? Okay, well, let's look at Daisy UI. And, uh, yeah, oh, here is a list. So let's look what components we can reuse from Daisy UI to build the list we desire. Stack, might it be stack? Uh, no. Let's go to home page. C components list is more useful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I want a list of uh, links to be kind of, well, simple, short, not big with big previews. Oh, more, more like a menu. Huh, maybe we should use menu for now. Stack, select, let me overview everything we have here. Table. Hmm. Yeah, well, we might use a table too. It feels a little bit old school. Uh, but why not? Let's try. We can always change it later. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, let's copy it. And let's see how it looks like. Ah, we didn't import it yet. Okay, let's import it. It's a list. A list. And, well, list again. But now it is like horizontal. Well, might be that GitHub Copilot didn't understand that I want code from it because this is not a comment. Uh, in HTML and this is just a text so it outputted it as text well okay let's give it another chance so first let's define proper HTML commit comment comment and copy this text here okay now it should have an idea so let's start Type in same uh, overflow blah 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 stuff and it should figure out that I want a table from it. Will you? Won't you? Oh, yes. URL title priority favorite. Nice. Okay, we don't have title yet. We will parse the URL on the back end and uh, get its title later but for now we, we don't have it okay it also created three rows for us google youtube and facebook and uh, well it thinks facebook is my favorite uh, which is not but never mind okay so it followed the structure of this table we copied which is wonderful uh, let's look here. Element table is not closed. Ah, yeah, it is not. Okay. Oops. So, what do we have? We have a table. It's on the bottom from the add link component. Uh, and it looks fine for now let's move it on the right so we'll use our friend flexbox again uh this time it's uh oh my now stop generating too much stuff so well just flex works we need some gap free again now free is not enough six 12 okay 12 is better and I guess if for the table we need some title, just like we have title here, and your link. Now I think that the amount of margin is kind of too big. Okay, let's make it smaller. Uh, what about it's eight from the top? Well, might be four. Margin top, 
and margin bottom is just two. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, better. Let's copy it to the list. And in the list, it will be well same style. Just the text will be links. Yeah, I think I need to wrap it with a div because the upper component thinks it's like to separate uh, children. Okay, add your link and links, which is table. It looks a little bit squished. How does it look if we expand it? Yeah, it is. Well, might be it's fine for now because we will anyway change this UI. So let's see. We have some mock HTML and I think it might be time to start making a backend and uh, well make this UI live. We are going to use WebSockets for that. So once user fills the form and click add or enter, we will collect data from the form and use WebSocket message to send it to the database through the backend uh, using Prisma. And uh, once data is saved, backend should notify us that it is saved and it should appear in this table. Yep, that is good. Okay, I think that would be next episode because in this episode we focused only on styling for this, you know, basic page with the links. I'll see you in the next one.